Hey, hey, and welcome to Erica Vane TV 2, the slightly more informal side of Erica Vane TV, where you can hear my musings, thoughts, and streams of consciousness in a more organic, less edited way. In this video, I am really thinking about Damon Sims and want to explore the question, did this breakup break him now if you're new here i'm erica vane your good sis you love to talk tv with and i have a pretty great channel erica vane tv as my main channel primary channel you can check it out at erica vane tv for thousands of television breakdowns across streaming cable and broadcast networks Breaking down all the hottest in television and film. Again, this channel is for a little bit more informal conversation. And I already gave you the topic. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Y'all, I really spent a lot of this week. This is now 4.47 a.m. on Friday. The mid-season finales premiered on Monday night. <laughs> so I spent the entire week really thinking about the Dia breakup and shout out to my group chats. Shout out to Naya, Melissa, Antonio, Keish, all of my great members of Erica Vane TV and quite a few others who have been in my DMs all week, really sharing their thoughts as they arose, as you continue to process different things. And specifically Naya, Melissa and I talk every damn day and with each passing like now hour we like came up with something else or felt something else or really dived into what we saw and what it meant to us and i actually have something really cool coming for other people who want to be able to explore and reflect in that way but most of what we were talking about this week now that i think about it like i'm sitting here trying to fall asleep and i'm just like oh let me get this out most of what we were processing was really from the side of Thea her mindset her fears her life her wants her desires her ambition um, get into a place of really understanding why she made the decision that she made but still being frustrated with her for doing it and I'm just now starting to really think about Damon. I made a, a note in my official episode breakdown, which I'll link in the description box of this video in case you haven't checked it out and this is your first time coming across me or my content. Um, but I made a note in that where I was like, oh, this could be something that launches Damon into his villain era. And now I kind of want to explore that thought a little bit more because part of me feels like he's going to stand 10 toes down and being patient and showing up for Thea. And a lot of us were talking on a live. I'll link that as well because that live was so amazing. Y'all are like ridiculously dope. Like my subscribers, utterly incredible. The energy on Tuesday night when we did the All-American Live After Show was ridiculously amazing. But a lot of y'all brought up like he might call you know her mom he's still going to be there for her he might allow her to have some distance but he still loves her so much and he's just going to double down and being the great guy that he has been and i i like mostly believe that right mostly but because the all-american homecoming writers have been in their bag operating out of excellence complete and utter black excellence right they have written in a way where they have left themselves open to a lot and it's so interesting because i do feel like on all american which is the original series the writers have written themselves into corners in a lot of cases when it comes to characters all american homecoming is the opposite there are so many little trap doors that they have set up little windows that they could jump out they have really written in a way where they are telling a very engaging intriguing story however at any moment it can go another way and that is exactly what we saw in episode seven right like nobody expected thea to break up with damon not a soul and that's what you guys have been telling me all week 
And while it's frustrating, it's a little disheartening, it's a little heartbreaking breaking for us, it's also masterful in the craft of writing, screenwriting specifically, and storytelling, because none of us expected it, but it's so true to Thea's character. And in the same vein of like, just trying to explore things that might be unexpected, <sighs> could this be an excuse for Damon to regress into arrogance, into ego, to start to put up walls. Because while we have talked a lot on Erica Vane TV about this being Thea's very first relationship, her first love, her first everything in reference to romance socially, I do think that Thea represents a lot of firsts for Damon as well. And it might not be his first kiss or his first sexual experience, which is still to come. Shout out, for, shout out to him for not, you know, allowing her to push the issue of trying to get it on in that damn dorm room because that would have just made the whole thing so much more complicated, right? I do think that Thea could be the first to have experienced this patient Damon, this best version of Damon, this um, steeped in effort, right? Like something that just is coming up and again, Erica Vane TV2 is a little bit more informal, y'all. So y'all again, my thoughts as it's coming out of my head and as I'm literally reflecting on Erica Vane TV, I typically give myself a little bit of time and try to organize things so that it's super clear, right? So go with me here. I am called to like two episodes ago before Thea, you know, sang a karaoke and professed her love to this boy. Damon is talking to Cam and Cam is like, yo, do you love this girl? Like, are you feeling hurt? And keep doing it. Like, regardless of how she feels, if you're not sure, like he wanted to pull back because he was scared after saying he loved her that she just said it because he said it. And he just is so all in, right? And that to me is like the perfect setup to like getting this type of rejection and it unfortunately tainting you, hurting you so deeply that you turn away from all these great things because ultimately this pain resulted from it. Now we're on mid season hiatus, so we don't actually know the teaser for episode eight doesn't give us damn near anything and again i am majority of the mindset that damon is not gonna break bad he's not gonna enter his villain era he is still probably going to pursue thea in some way shape or form because this feels very very real for not only thea but for him but i would not be surprised if this changed him even if just for a very short season I wouldn't be surprised if this frustrated him, how hurt that he becomes, because he has gone above and beyond to meet Thea where she's at, to understand her, to be patient with her, to provide grace to her. And while I do feel like he has gone above and beyond, um, you know, and gave to her, she is also given to him. And the thing that I think people don't talk about a lot when it comes to breakups specifically is the grief that you feel the grief that you have to process and because we don't account for the grief we don't really think about what repercussions come with grief so if damon is heavy on the grief when we return from this mid-season finale if he is heavy in feeling his hurt if he decides to guard his heart now and isolate, then we could also see him enter his villain era and we could see a more broken version of Damon Sims. <sighs> Which I don't wanna see, but would still be very interesting storytelling. I ain't even gonna hold you. For me being a person who was not a Damon Sims fan from the very beginning and really just has been on a ride with him as he literally earned every ounce of respect that I hold for him right now. He, I feel, 
if there's any character in the All-American Universe, has been given reason after reason after reason to be shitty for a little bit if he needed to, or be closed off, not as patient, not as genuine, not as open, not as vulnerable, between his parental issues, between his damn needy ass older sibling, which he has to actually behave like an older person, older sibling to JR, to this relationship, to the wishy washiness that was the whole demonness of it all, to the pressure that he faces as a MLB hopeful who has turned on MLB to turn around this HBCU program and then down to just being a damn college freshman. Again, Damon has had every reason to fully develop into a villain and he has not, which is also so admirable about him. But again, I wouldn't be surprised if when we come back from this break, we start to get hints of it. Now I would love to know what y'all think. Those are just my thoughts. I don't think that this breakup has broken him. However, what is to follow? And if Thea doesn't recount, recant, reverse Uno, this decision that she done made, I could totally see it putting Damon on the road to brokenness. And I would hate that for him. Jump down in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. I would really love to know. If you're new to my second channel, please hit the subscribe button, give this video a like and share it so that we can also grow the conversations and community over here. I hope that y'all are enjoying Erica Vane TV too. I would love to know how you feel about it as well in the comment section. And I'll see you in my next one. Good night or good morning.